She goes, you want me to make a run for you? There's a uh, liquor store right by here. And I go, I don't know. She goes, I'll make a run. I go, I don't know if I need a drink. She goes, you need to drink. You want it. You like it. You love it. You want some more Tito's. You were actually on the Johnny Carson show. You got, you were one of those comedians mm. that, I guess it was after Saturday Night Live. What was it before? Shit. What was Fred, the timeline? Fred, there? when did he retire? Oh, shit. Was I it 92? I don't know. Because I did it two months before he retired. Wow. So whenever that was. So maybe you were already on Saturday Night Live. I don't, I mean, he retired in uh, May of 92. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Benji. Um, <laughs> so, so, so wait so a second. I, yeah. I had to go out and I got the spot and the talent guy goes, when you go out there, you hit the mark, you do your fucking crummy jokes and you come right back. Is that what he said? Yeah. He goes, come on, just do it. And I go, I heard Johnny waves you over if you're really good. He goes, that's not going to happen. I wouldn't worry about that. Just do your shit. Come back. Come right to me like a puppy. You know, come on, come here. Like he's right in the curtains. The show's so fucking uptight. I I've mean, never even done. I was like, yeah. Sure. Meanwhile, I went out there and shit a fucking brick because you don't even realize you're looking at cameras. It's different than you see on TV. So all your mind does is go right to that, like, oh my God, look at these cameras. The floor is so shiny. You start to look around and see how artificial it all is. And I go, it's so small in here. Yeah. Wait, am I doing my act? Like, I, <laughs> I, I was like, do I have to do shit? So anyway, I see the little X. Got it. Found the X. Look back. Thumbs up. The guy's like, oh, what a rookie. <laughs> And then Carson's a little behind you to the right. So it's right. hard because you can't really just look at him. Do you remember your act from what you did there? I think I go, hey, uh, I got a new uh, car. Uh, uh, it's a UPS truck. <laughs> I actually just got it so I can park wherever I want. And, uh, did, that, did that get some laughs? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not like it just died in here, but <laughs> yeah, right. it actually did well because of a good crowd. Right. So then, uh, anyway, I did a couple of those and then a couple of zingers threw in a few doozies yeah. and then I finished, but I did pretty good. Yeah. So I look to the right and wave, but I can't even see him because I don't look all the way to the right. And he's with Martin short and they cut to Martin short and they go, Hey, he was great. And Martin short goes, yeah, get him over here. And he goes, yeah, come here. And, and Johnny waves me over and I turn and leave. Oh, <laughs> and he goes, well, what's he doing? Oh, he, does, he doesn't. Okay. He's not coming over. All right. He just left. Okay. David Sp I got to go oh back. I got to go back and watch that. Isn't that weird? So then I get back and he, and the drunk guy in the back goes, what are you doing? He waved you. I go, hey, fuck you. You told me don't even look at the guy. Yeah. You were in the mindset that like, you just had to return to the back of the stage. Right. You, there was not an option that you, you were told to return like a dog. I'm yeah. fucking lassie. I did yeah. what I was told. And then <laughs> I get backstage and, and then they knock on the door and I had my shirt off. Right. <laughs> It was like a freaking B.O. blowout, like oh, blowing down God. trees, like during a hurricane. And I opened the door. I go, what? And my shirt off, holding a jug of Pepto-Bismol. Johnny, Doc, uh, and Martin Short. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And I go, holy shit. And Johnny goes, hey, you ran off. I just wanted to say good job. You were funny. And I kind of froze. And then uh, he looks at my Pepto-Bismol and goes, I'm trying to quit this stuff. <laughs> I go, sorry, I was nervous. He goes, hey. Me too. And then he left, and that was it. Dude, I did you a favor. Why? You know how you called me up and you said you love Beetlejuice? Yeah. I brought him in for you. He's <laughs> going to sit next to you. Beetle! Look yeah. at that! Yeah! <laughs> I have that shirt. Look at the outfit. <laughs> you have that shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You should have put Beetlejuice in your movie. <laughs> Look at how slow he walks in. What a stud. I want to get a good shot. He walks him. in like Apollo Creed walked into Rocky. Yeah. Like Beetlejuice really has slow. a lot of confidence. Anyway, so uh, David Spade <laughs> is a big fan of yours. This is yeah, David Spade. Peter, just, yeah, what's up, buddy? He's a big fan of yours. Yeah, he is. He wanted to meet you. <laughs> he called me up, and he said he wanted to meet you. David, you're not that much taller than Beetlejuice. No, I'm not. No. He's cooler, though. Who has a better build, David Spade or Beetlejuice, Robin? <laughs> Beetlejuice has you a know, better shirt on. Yeah. I was looking at Beetlejuice has broad shoulders. The Beetlejuice is in good shape. You work out? Yeah, I work out. Yeah, what do you do? What's your routine? Me? <laughs> no, I, live, I live a lot of days. These are 180 pounds over. You work out with a trainer? Yeah, I best press 125. 125. Sweet. Put it up, dude. All right. Nice. That's more than Howard does. <laughs> You're damn right it is. You bench and what else? Squats and that? Uh, squat? I squat like 530. 530 pounds. Yeah, wow. just that sounds a little high. <laughs> he could change that number at any time. <laughs> I like when you interviewed him and he was on a movie set and you go, What's the movie about? He goes, I don't know. Well, tell me about the movie. What's this movie about? I don't know. I don't know. You gotta ask them. I don't know. 
you know you know what your scene's about? Your character? I don't know. I don't got nothing to do with this. Do you know your character's name in the movie? I don't know. You got to ask them. I don't know. You got to ask these guys. I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what is, what your, is that movie coming out of your yours, Beetlejuice? Say? I don't know. Oh, it's cool out of food days. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's already out. It's yeah. already out. <laughs> it's already out. <laughs> I got the stories. But... Beetlejuice, your movie hasn't come out yet. It's a big It's a big movie. It takes an hour to do it. Yeah. It takes an hour to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could have played this part but you, though, right, Beetle? Yeah, all the part I could play. <laughs> Beetlejuice, thanks for waking up early and coming and hanging with me, buddy. This girl, Catch Me Outside Girl. Yeah, who is the Catch Me Outside Girl? <laughs> oh, she was on Dr. Phil. Okay. Yeah. Catch Me Outside. Um, I, I played the tape for you. She was just yes. this girl, and, so, and she got into a fight with an audience member. Yeah, and so she's like a tough street chick. Yeah. Now, I saw her out, <laughs> and my friend goes, hey, that's Catch Me Outside Girl, which is her official name, pretty much. Right. right. And I go, oh, yeah. And so he goes, I want to get a picture with her, so let's go over there. She'll know Joe Dirt or something. She'll get a picture with you. Sure. So we go over there. A lot she's, of pressure on you. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's with her mom and like a body a bodyguard. By the way, she's fourteen. I, right. I thought, she's got a bodyguard. Yeah. She she looks like she's thirty. Right. So by the way, they're perfectly pleasant. Mm-hmm. They do know Joe Dirt. We talk. We all take pictures. Fine. And, and then I'm the asshole because a couple of days later I go, I'm gonna put that picture of that girl. People might remember that she's the catcher. It's funny. Hmm. And then I go, okay. I give her a little slam. I go. Uh, Unfortunately, this picture was taken five minutes after she stopped being famous, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you see, I, I let's say my regular picture gets like twenty or thirty thousand likes, right? Right. Within twenty minutes, I look at my phone. It says thirty thousand. I go, Something's wait, up. what's going on? <laughs> Shaking my phone like, and then I look on it, and now there's fights. Because I made fun of her. Uh-oh. So her fans are coming on going, fuck you. And who the, who are you even? And blah, blah. I'm like, oh. And then <laughs> now I'm getting scared. Like I'm in this, yeah. her bees are buzzing out. Like her, they yeah. came at me. And then the next day she goes, <laughs> she puts it up or comments on it. Who dis thought you was my waiter? Oh, geez. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Sure, yeah, that's I not said, a bad that's comeback. Fine, you know, I didn't know if your team needed 48 hours to come up with that one, but fine. That's you got to be so witty when it comes to these wars on these social media. Oh my god! I, things. Believe me, I tapped out. I go, I'm losing. And then they're like, she's more famous than you. So I was like, really? So I look at, she has 10 million followers. Oh my god! And I have a million. I go, well, maybe she's more famous if you go by facts. <laughs> <laughs> It's an amazing career you have because you've gone from once you went from Saturday Night Live to movies yeah. that that did extremely well. You know, with, with far, well Farley, uh, you know. Yeah, Tommy Boy, Joe Dirt. There's ones that have done better than others. Yeah, you're right. Who was the genius <clears> that figured <throat> that you two guys would be good in the first movie? Who 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 figured? That was Lauren. Was it Lauren who said, yeah. "Hey, you guys should make a movie together." He said, he told two writers they write a movie about these guys, the way they act around the office, like Farley has a room with Spade and then he Spade's like the fake smart one and Farley walks behind him and asks him questions and then I make fun of him and then he It's sort of like the Three Stooges concept yeah, that was Mo just, was smarter than the other yeah, two idiots. Yeah, fake smarter and right. and then uh, uh, but I was always like uh, in awe that he was so good and almost didn't know it. So even in movies like Tommy Boy the only thing I could bring to that is saying why don't I'm remembering bits and pieces he would say over the weeks or years that were funny and just go this actually one line we got to work in because you said it two weeks ago or fat guy in little coat. Let's let's try to put that in the movie somewhere, even though it's so dumb. But I think people will think it's funny if we do and little weird things and gestures and funny faces. We would because he did them so uh, casually that I would try to log him in my head and go, God, that's going to be great. And I didn't know Lorne Michaels looked at the two of you guys and said, this will be a great movie. I mean, that's brilliant. That was a great call because if you think about it, we never could have pitched that movie. If you went to Paramount and said, two guys drive across Ohio and try to sell brake pads, <laughs> it's <just> the <laughs> yeah, dumbest it's, idea in the right. world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just silly. Yeah, I mean. How long does it take to shoot a movie like that? It was pretty quick, but we shot it during Silent Live. And you, who wrote the script? Uh, Bonnie and Terry Turner and then Fred Wolf, who I've worked with a million times since, has done it. Right. He's sort of turned into my writing partner since, but it it was punched up, and then we went to Toronto, and we would do, you know, SNL on Saturday. We'd fly in a jet, 
to Toronto. We'd shoot all Sunday. Maybe that's what made the movie Monday, great because uh, back. you guys you guys don't have to think it through so much. It's like almost like, hey, we're in the middle of Saturday Night Live. We got to go shoot this movie, and you know you don't you don't put too much energy in one place getting neurotic about right. it. You just but then have maybe fun. the pressure of that is too much. I don't know. You know, one time I got skinnier and he got fatter. I know that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, see, something's going on. Nothing Lauren goes, well, at least it stays on the screen. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> the same weight. Do you ever watch the old movies or are they too painful? Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. on so much that. You get caught up in them, and it's sort of sad and fun because you remember the whole day of the shoot. You remember right. one day going, uh, let's bring a little clip-on tie and say it's a clip-on, and you go, really? And then we go, let's just try to put that in somewhere in the scene because you'd see the mini sides for the next day and go, this feels a little flat. What can we do that is stupid? Like housekeeping from Tommy Boy. I would do every morning when I came to his room. I'd go, housekeeping, and he'd go, Ugh. <laughs> I go, housekeeping. And he goes, the fuck out of here. Put that fucking thing on the door. And I go, housekeeping. He goes, God damn it. And then he'd open the door and he goes, oh, it's you. And then when I go, you do, you, the, do you know I do this every morning, Chris? When you do that stuff in real life and it's funny yeah. and then you go to try it on film. You don't know for sure. And we were just like left alone in Toronto doing Time Boys. So we'd wake up and the director and one of the writers and go, can we just try this? And, and the director, Pete Siegel, was great because sometimes... Because he didn't know us well, but sometimes he'd go, I trust you guys. If you think this is funny, I go, I don't know, but made us laugh last night. And the carpenters singing and stuff we do anyway, we go, if it's done right, I think people will think it's funny too. I did an Indian casino recently. Oh, yeah? My last gig I just did. It's funny because, you know, now, Robin. Now, is an Indian casino, is that like a dry situation where you don't it have It was. Booze? So I bring these little Tito bottles of uh, vodka, like little airplane ones, maybe one or two in the socks just to keep the party going. <laughs> so I, I fly, you know, to this casino. What a whore, whatever, fine. Good for me. Yeah. I got to make those Honda Accord payments somehow, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> Honda Accord's a nice car. Pay for the serious. Yeah. <laughs> so I get, I get land, and I got to drive an hour, and then the lady's like a tough sort of older woman, like been around the block, been there forever. She goes, ah, another gig for you, huh? I go, yep, yep. So we, we, we get there. And then she goes, there's no dressing room. This is your RV in the parking lot. I go, God, it's like mm. some crummy RV. It's 102 for real. So it's sizzling. I get in there and the wispy wall. I'm getting sunburned through the wall. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. This can't be happening. And then she goes, knock, knock. Meanwhile, my driver uh, ideally would be in the car. Right. But uh, she comes in and goes, hey, probably not supposed to come in here. I just want to give you a heads up. It's a dry casino. Like, I'm fucking Foster Brooks. How old is this woman? Uh, She's about 70. And she's your driver. Yeah. So I go, oh, yeah. I go, I heard. I go, you know what? I had a hunch. So I slipped in me Tito's in my socks. I go, I got two. And she was not going to do it. I go, well, you know, I weigh 140. I think I'll be all right. And then I go, I'll just have some at dinner. And she goes, dry restaurant. (laughs) I go, shit. She really got her finger on the pulse of the booze in this town. So I go, oh shit, really? I go, I should be all right. So I go, I come out, I got a little bit of a buzz, but I come out, she knocks again. How you feeling, party boy? I go, she goes, you want me to make a run for you? There's a uh, liquor store right by here. And I go, I don't know. She goes, I'll make a run. I go, I don't know if I need a drink. She goes, you need to drink. You want it. You like it. You love it. You want some more Tito's. So I go, "Uh, all right. So she goes, I'll do a covert run. I go, I don't think anyone gives a fuck. (laughs) You know, so she goes, no, no, I'll go. I'll go. I go, okay, Jason Bourne. So she sneaks off. She comes back in and she goes, Okay, I got some stuff for the talent. And then she knocks in. I got it. I got it. I go, all right, drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. So then she goes, here's your Abba Zabba. She had to water it down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, here's here's a comb, a yo-yo. And then she goes, reaches in her bra. Here's your Tito. Out of her bra. Oh. One Tito, the other one. She's like yanking it going, oh, that's me nip. All right, here's your other Tito. Puts it down. And then uh, I go, oh, gross, <laughs> thanks. And then she goes, uh, hey, slug him. I go, no, no, no. She goes, get your buzz. Get out there and bring the funny. <laughs> and I go, who is this I, I don't know. And yeah. I, go, oh, I go, I got it from here. I got it from here. So anyway, I go to the show, crush, kill, whatever, other people's words, right. standing up. <laughs> but anyway, the only embarrassing thing, I ordered a jet to get me home because it was pretty far away. I'm working on the show. I go, I want to come home late. I get a crowbar on the wall and I go, let's get a jet. Fine. Hmm. So me and Bobby, my my opener guy, we, Look at you. we get in the back of the sprinter and i'm like conked out you know 
It's a show. And Buzz is fading away. Now I'm more into cranky mode. And then she goes, uh, it's usually the, how it goes, the trajectory. So then she goes, we're, we're, I go, as fast as you can, just got to get to the airport. Yeah, yeah. And then two minutes later, can I ask a favor? Uh -oh. I, go, I don't know if we're at the favor level of this relationship. <laughs> I go, what is she goes, this could get me fired. I go, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. She goes, my granddaughter, I'm a grandma, shocker. Yeah. Uh, I, she's 11, loves Joe Dirt, says all the quotes, does all the... I go, you want me to call her? She goes, no, can we pop over there for a second? Oh, oh my God. She's just a couple clicks off the freeway. I go, clicks? <laughs> <laughs> in Vietnam? How far yeah, is a click? Is it, the military? <laughs> Sounds far. She goes, nah, it's just a little zigzag, then a beep, pop, boop, and then we're right there. I go, uh, and I never do this because I'm fucking great guy syndrome, but I go, I, I can't. I go, we got to get there, and they got to take off at a certain time. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she's already fucking right. grousing. Yeah. And so... I go, all right. And then I start to zonk out again. Two seconds later, he's right here. Hold on. You're on. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh. And it's a FaceTime. I go, Jesus. Oh my God. So I'm crawling to the front and she's like sticking it through that little window, swerving. Here, that's him. Look. Oh. And so I go, oh, hi. I crawl up. Hi. You know, and she's like, hi. I'm like, hey, you watch the movie? You know, whatever I say. And then I see the chick look at me like she's like, uh, amp up the funny you're bombing i'm like i'm bombing i'm doing my and she goes give her some stuff from the movie i'm like hey dang you know what's crapping and kids like couldn't give a fuck and then and then she takes the phone away from me she goes he's tired he's tired i'll call you later oh my god you, you bombed and, and like get the worst review yeah, from and grandma I go, fuck that kid she was like oh cindy brady god. freezing up on me she didn't help me at all i was at a hotel and then i think it was four seasons something nice but i order a massage just a couple years ago and, and and i hear of course i order a girl you know mm. it's almost given but i yeah you forget sometimes you go oh yeah it's got to be a girl and then doof, 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 on the door i go <laughs> uh -oh. um, is everything okay out here <laughs> and then i look through beep, to the people and there's this huge russian dolph lundgren guy <laughs> and i go God, I, I keep the little chain on i go all right is there what's going on he goes i go you looking for the gym or the steroid room he goes <laughs> I am this. Uh, I go. Oh no, no. I don't. I don't. No. I'm sorry. It's been a horrible mistake. I ordered a girl, and he goes, No, no. I'm teddy bear. I. You ordered a woman, but I'm only one left today, and I'm. Uh, and I go. Mm -hmm. And he goes, But uh, eh, you pay either way. I go. Ah, I'll try it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Once I money was involved. Yeah. So. I, I let him in stupidly. Why do you have to He's, pay either way? You specified a woman. It's not your. All right. Okay. I don't fight. All yeah. right. Yeah, I know it's embarrassing. <laughs> you gotta fight. Dolph I don't Lundgren. fight anything. So then he comes he goes, in. Aren't and you on TV? I never complain. <laughs> you ever complain during massage? I don't. Even right. if it's horrible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I won't complain. So because you're vulnerable. Uh, get on the table. I go. All right. Well, be careful. You know. Because he's a monster. So he puts me on the table like a fucking rag doll. He just like lays me on there. <laughs> and he goes, now any problems you tell me? I go, yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> like he's pushing me right away. I feel like my C4 through nine is like, kick, 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 like fireworks. <laughs> I go, ah, ah, okay. And then I go, I don't want to say anything, but it's obviously 300 times too hard. Right. <laughs> He's like doing a handstand. I go, hey. Oh. And I finally go, hey, it's a little, uh, it's a little too. And he goes, shh. I go, oh. he fucking shushed me. Wow. And I was so stunned in that little face plate. My eyes were, huh? I go, did he, do, what did he just say? Now he's like still smashing my face through that thing like silly putty and my shoulders are jammed. Well, I'm in so much more pain already within oh. five seconds. And he's like going down on my, on my lower back, my spine. So I try again. I go, hey, maybe 20% less. Shh. <laughs> Told me to shut up Look again. This fucking Dolph Lundgren, and I shut the fuck up for an hour <laughs> right? while he beat the shit out of me. Oh my god! And then he left, and I just laid there like I was in fucking <laughs> nineteen seventeen. Oh.